So hi, my name's Donna. I work here, here at Rutherford Laboratories. Here at Rutherford, we make micro targets, which are used in our high power laser um, facility for conducting experiments that look at things like future energy or things like uh, medical applications like cures for cancer and things like that. So the first step of thin film targets is to coat glass microscope slides with some salt. Then once we've coated the salt, we then transfer these slides into one of our other coating plants to coat the, the thin layer of aluminium or gold or silver or copper or whatever material has been requested. We would put our, our samples in here, we would then close the door and pump the machine down and when it's at the correct pressure to, to, um, to do a run, we then press our buttons, it's all programmed ready to go. So uh, we would start the coating run and then at the end of the run, you usually end up with something that looks like this, which is just a, a plain glass micro microscope slide with um, some kind of metallic coating on. So I'm not too sure what this one is because I don't know what people have been doing in here, but that could be gold or copper or aluminium, silver, anything like that. Once we've got our thin film coatings on our glass slides, we then move on to the next room to start float off. So in here, I've got a range of coatings that have been coated before. So like I was explaining earlier, once we've got our coating ready, we use a, a ruler and a scalpel just to mark out the area that we want to float off. Then we then fill a bowl of water with distilled water and you gently lower the slide into the water, which should allow the foil or your thin film coating to float off onto the top of the, onto the surface of the water. After this, that's when we, so the foil is like the main part of the target. So once the foil's floating, we then need some kind of support or mount to, to float it onto that's gonna support that foil ready for the laser to, to fire at. So this is what we call a, a copper finger mount. And on the end of this finger mount, there is a 200 micron hole. And over that hole, we want to put one of these, one of these foils. Now that we've got our, our foil floated off into the water, the next step is to mount that gold foil over the hole on the end of the copper finger. So these copper finger mounts have a, a raised hole um, etched into them. And once the water evaporates from around the edge of that ring, it's like a donut it pulls the foil really nice and flat and then you get a really nice clear mirror image so that um, the, the laser users can get a really good, good focus on the, on the center of the foil to shoot the laser at. So we leave those to dry for five or 10 minutes and then once they're dry, we mount them on one of our standard stalks. So this is just literally for handling all the targets. So the majority of our, our targets are mounted on a, a 3D printed stalk and this is just for us to be able to handle them so the important bit is mounted on the top. So with these ones, this is the copper finger mount is just stuck on the stalk so that it can be handled by the laser users when they're putting it in place in the, in the laser chamber. So that's how you make a laser target. If you're interested in science and you want to learn more about how I got into it, then go and watch my interview video. Thank you very much for coming to visit me at the lab.